Hi everyone, I'm Susie S. In today's video, I'm going to give you 12 TV shows and movies to help you practice your language learning. They're going to be in English, French and Spanish and they're mostly on Netflix because most of Netflix movies do have lots of different audios so either Spanish, French, English or even Chinese or Polish sometimes which is quite great and they've got also lots of subtitles which is also very helpful and also it's legal and so the first TV show, I'm going to start with the TV shows the first TV show is Stranger Things it's about a group of young people who one night after playing Dungeons and Dragons um, found out that one of their friends mysteriously disappears and they also found that young mysterious weird girl um, which just appears out of nowhere and happens to have very strange powers and in the search for their friends who has disappeared they found out a lot of free things happening around them and it's very great it's set in the 80s and it's very well made so everything is like we're back in the 80s and it's great the next one is sense right, if you haven't watched this tv show yet just start it even if you're not learning a language you have to watch this show it is super great the stories are awesome the characters are great the direction is just magnificent and it, even the editing is just on point it's just a tv show to watch if, if you want something to binge on sensate is the show so sensei what is it about you tell me well it's about a group of eight people all born on the same day and they're all from different places around the world so it's set in the uk in london in the us chicago and la in india in south africa and mexico so this group of eight people discover later on in the series that they are linked mentally and that they are brand new it's not giving you something away but they are a not brand new that they are another kind another species of human beings and um, so their words start to change and of course when it comes to something new and when someone is different they're being chased by some odious people and um, so like i said it's very great it's very well made the stories are awesome and the acting is just marvelous they are all great actors and it's brilliant so also very important it's very diverse and it's great and it's got a lot focus on diversity and the LGBT and it's just great just watch it already seriously what are you waiting for and um, the other one is Jane the Virgin so it's a TV show it's not a Netflix one based on Netflix it's on ABC I think it's about a girl Jane she's a virgin and that's the first episode that's in the pilot she goes to our to a gynecologist, I think that's how you say it, gynecho, and she's just there for a smear test, but accidentally the doctor inseminates her and she falls pregnant, of course, because it's film like a telenovela, Jen the Virgin is with her grandmother and her mother, with whom she lives. They're a massive fan of telenovelas. And it's filmed like that, and it's quite great. So watch it. And uh, this other one is Narcos. You might have heard about it. It's a TV series, Netflix one, about the search and the arrest of Pablo Escobar. So it's set in Colombia, and it's, in my opinion, very well made. And even if you're not watching it in Spanish, which I will advise you to do, or in French, if you want to learn French. They, in the original version, they respect the language of Spanish, so they keep the Spanish, they're not doing voiceover of a Spanish, and they keep the English and the Spanish because it's set in Colombia, so it's awesome for that. So just even if you're watching it in the original language, which is English, obviously, you will listen to some Spanish, and there's subtitles even if you don't watch in Spanish. Uh, I forgot to put the caption on there will be some subtitles and Spanish you can enjoy. So the next one is Grace and Frankie. It's a Netflix show uh, about two older ladies who discover after 20 years of marriage that their husbands who've been working together not only are partners in affairs but they've been having an affair. So they all get a divorce and their life changes. And it's 
it's a very funny TV show. Uh, it's very well made again. But also what I really like about it is that it's a comedy and I don't watch a lot of comedies. Um, but it's very funny and also it's focused on those group of older people who are all are almost in their 60s and that's I think well beside the youth and the restless is the only TV show I'm aware of which is about older people and that's just awesome. So the next one, the last TV show will be VOA. It's a show that's on Netflix about a young woman who's lived pretty much all her life blind, disappears and the first episode starts when she reappears seven years later being able to see. And when she reappears, obviously, because she's been locked gone for so long, herself and her parents, with whom she's going to go live, needs to get used to each other. And the community and the people of her city do not like her very much. And mostly because she's got very strange behaviour and she is a bit weird. Which is why I really like this show, because she's just weird. And being weird is awesome. And so you'll find out whilst watching the first season, because there's going to be another season, hopefully, if they don't cancel it, uh, that the reason why she's been so weird. So the next one is El Fin de ETA. It's a documentary, actually not a film, about the end of ETA, which is, which was, rather I should say, a terrorist group which operated in Spain and also a bit in France, in the Basque Country, for about 50 years doing a lot of terrorist attacks killing a lot of people so the documentary focuses on how we got to the end to this dismantation to to the end of ETA so this documentary is very good to watch not only to practice your Spanish but also to discover a bit more about this terrorist organization which like I said terrorized the Basque Country and Spain and also France for so many decades. Uh, so if you don't know much about it, that's the documentary watch and also if you knew a little bit about it, you can or will, you can or will rediscover again how bad this organization was and how many people they have. So I really recommend it. It's it's very good. The second one is he Even As Your Eyes or Il A Déjà Tes Yeux en Français. It's a movie about a couple who cannot have children naturally, so they're going to adopt. And this couple happens to be black. Well, their skin happened to be brown. And the adopting agency put into their care and for adoption a very cute baby who's got blue eyes, blonde hair, and a beige skin so they not they were not expecting that and uh, they wanted a baby who looks like them but it's just very cute and funny movie and it's just going to show you that the skin color doesn't matter next one is Las Ojos de Julia it's a Spanish movie about a woman who's slightly losing her sight and after she's gone blind, she's trying to discover what happened to her twin sister who died. It's a very good thriller and kind of not quite an horror movie, but yeah, more like a thriller and it's very good. And you can find it on Netflix, I think, on iTunes if not, and on Amazon or other DVD selling places. So the next one is one of my favorite movie of all time. It's Pound Labyrinth. It's made by Guillermo del Toro. It's set in, in Spain back in 1944. It's about a young girl who after a thing has happened to her mom and she's trying to save her baby brother. She just got born. It's a newborn. She escaped into a magical, eerie and weird fantasy world with a weird creature and it's Guillermo del Toro it's it's a weird movie and I love that them kind of movies so the next one will be a bit of a change for those of you who are learning Spanish and I hope you do take on this change and please do tell me if you do because those two movies are very funny um, the first one is called Ocho Apellidos Vascos or Spanish Affair is set in the Basque Country and tells the story of a young Andalusian man 
who falls in love with a woman from the Basque country. And so comedy on how the man tried to disguise himself as being Basque. And them two regions, Andalusia and Pays Bascos, they don't like each other. And it's a bit ridiculous, but this is why the movie is so funny, because it's so ridiculous. And the man is going to try to make the woman fall in love with him. So the second one is Otra Pedos Catalanes, or Spanish Affairs 2. It follows the same couple, but this time around they've broken up. And the man still deeply in love with her, but her is about to get married to a man from Catalonia. And a father who, at first at least, didn't like her to be with the Andalusian from the first movie, doesn't really like either her to be married to a man from Catalonia. It's actually even worse for him. So he's going to get the her ex, who's still living in Andalusia, to try to break the couple to be. And it's still very funny. I have to say I prefer the first one. But this one is a bit easier to understand because Spanish and Catal Catalan, uh, so the Castellano in Catalan, I should say, actually, are quite similar. And Catalan is similar to Spanish, obviously, but also to French. So if you're French speaking or if you know already a little bit of, Sp of Spanish, you should be able to follow this one a bit more. Whereas the first one, which was set in Pays Basco, is a bit more difficult to understand because Basque, the language, is a totally different from Castellano, so from Spanish. Um, but yeah, it's still a very good movie and I still recommend you to watch it. It's available on Netflix. This first one is not, so you should be able to find it on Amazon or other platforms and I hope you enjoy them. Here you go, that was the 12 TV show and movies I will recommend you to watch if you're learning either English, Spanish or French. I hope you're going to enjoy those movies and I hope you did enjoy watching this video. If you did, please do tell me in the comments and like the video and share. And I hope to see you again soon in the real world. Music